Thank you so much to all participants for taking part to this webinar and to the speakers to provide such insightful and interesting presentation. It's a pleasure to take part to this event and to share insight from my experience as a patient and a former member of the National and European Parliament. I welcome the publication of the Beating Cancer Plan from the European Commission, and I was happy to notice how to the concern of the patient community have been taken on board in the past year. The plant and flagship initiatives are composed of several projects which will have a long-term impact on the life of patients all over Europe. At DICE, we hope to keep nurturing our relationship with the EU institutions to bring our first-hand knowledge and experience to the table. I would like to speak about my personal experience as a patient and cancer survivor. I arrived, I arrived in the European Parliament in 2016. During the course of the winter in 2017 in Strasbourg, my eyes were opened. As I participated in a meeting about shortness of medicine, one of the presentations showed that in 2012, there was a shortness of 5-FLU and oxylaplatine. This was the medication I received in 2012, every 14 days in the space of six months. I survived, but my neighbors in five other member states had problems to receive their medication, which would have saved their lives. I was happy that my crib stood in Belgium, but it was not fair for those who lived in five in these five European member states. Cancer survivors still want and deserve to have a career and to have a future. What one needs in these challenging moments are insurances and the opportunity to take a loan. This is only possible if your cancer will be forgotten. After a period of time, which differs from type and stage of the cancer, the illness should be forgotten. In this context, I am glad that the Beating Cancer Plan tackles many issues that are fundamental to achieve lasting changes at national and European level. A fundamental issue is discrimination at work. Being a cancer patient is a struggle from one day to another day. No one ever chooses to be a patient. Treatments take a long, long time. Your life is standing still, but the world is turning around. Staying at home without having the possibility to go to work creates isolation. During the time of my illness, I was a member of the federal parliament. I had the possibility to continue my work. I also had the physical strength to do it. It made me stronger. I believe that all cancer patients should be able to choose whether they wish to go to work or to stay at home. They should be able to choose whether they wish to work one, two, three or more days each week. It's so important that the patient is still involved. I am glad that the plan tackles this issue by concentrating on improving the quality of life for cancer patients, survivors and carrier carriers. In 2022, the Commission will launch a study related to the return to work of cancer, patient, cancer survivors while identifying obstacles and remaining challenges. Screening has been widely discussed during this webinar. DICE concentrated strongly on this topic in the past year throughout its work within the EU Health Policy Platform as leader of the thematic network on colorectal cancer screening that culminated in a summit and a joint statement on this subject. We are glad that the European Commission will focus several of its announced initiatives on screening in the next few years, as we have strongly supported on EU-wide focus and sharing of best practices. The Commission plan outlines several preventive measures to tackle cancer aiming at addressing key risk factors, such as smoking and alcohol consumption while paying attention to inequalities. In this respect, we must mention in this debate that the current survival rate of colorectal cancer in Belgium is 70%, while other countries in Europe, such as Poland, Slovakia, and Romania, 
have current rates of respectively 53 for, for Poland and 52 both for Slovakia and Romania. This level of difference in rates should not happen within the EU. And we hope that the beating cancer plan will focus strongly in facilitating a better exchange of best practices among its members. We are happy to see that the EU is providing the plan with a 4 billion euro funding for action addressing cancer with the EU for health program totaling 1.25 billion euro. Erasmus is a beautiful project. Erasmus is a part of the soul of Europe. It brings young people together and creates a true European feeling. I am asking the Commission to extend Erasmus to a new project, Erasmus Met. Every patient in Europe has the right to have the best treatment and care within its member states. And this is only possible if every medical staff has the same knowledge. Surgeons, oncologists, radiologists, nurses, all should have the possibility to learn through work experience schemes in specialized cancer centers in the EU. These specialized cancer centers should be appointed by the European Commission. At DICE, we believe that the only way to succeed in achieving a strong Europe that works for everybody is to bring all stakeholders together to work towards the common goal of a healthier Europe. The strength of Europe depends on its citizens. The strongest the citizens are, the stronger Europe will be. The strength of the chain is determined by the weakest link. Give citizens in every member state the same quality of health. It's a big task, but so important for the future of Europe. I would like to conclude by renewing our support and our will to work together with the EU institutions to achieve the ambitious goals of the plan and to beat cancer together. Thank you.